So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, something that we have in store for the Renegade and we're going to be switching this old thing that's on there for this bad boy that came in a few days ago. The RJWC Mud Edition pipe. It's a slip-on exhaust. It has all the things you need for it. The slip-on exhaust. All the brackets and everything that you need. So, want to show you guys today how I'm going to be putting this one on. Uh, you can tell there's a few things I already I'm going to have to remove. We got a bolt there. We have all these bolt holding this bracket right underneath here. We got two on that side. There's a few over here on the top. And uh, let's get right to it. Alright guys, first thing you want to do is remove the two screws that this box has. There's two uh, 10 millimeter screws holding this on. Then in the back, there's going to be two more that go right on top of there. There's one there and one on the other side. And then you got the two screws in the back there. There's two more down here. Uh, the two in the exhaust that go that go on this bottom section here holding on the exhaust. And there's another two screws on this side. Two screws up there. And then you have to remove from under here there's two screws that hold this back light on that is right in here, right? And then another one on this side. And then you have all four screws that hold this back piece here that also is held on to this bracket. Then this bracket should be free. It's already all loosened up. So it should be ready to be, to be removed. There it is, boy. Finally. After removing that, I think all we have left is, should be a bolt in here, right in here, that holds the exhaust, and I think that should be it. Uh, I'm going to take it off and see what that one does. Finally, guys, wow, all it had was a nut that's holding on this, the, the pipe on that side, and man, you got to wiggle your way through. There's a little hinge that goes right in here, but that's about it. 
That that's all that's holding that pipe. So wow, it is not as easy uh, as you might see it on video, because you know once you skip through this, you can barely tell how the struggle was to uh, have taken this off. Easily, it took me probably 20, 25 minutes trying to wiggle this thing off because it, it was really hard. So got to put some strength into it. So now I'm going to get the other pipe and get it all set to uh, mount it on. So guys, this is where I'm at right now. Um, I just installed the clamps right here. There's one here. There's one that goes on that inside pipe. And if you follow the instructions, uh, the one on the left is basically for the regular Renegade and the one on the right, uh, these last three steps are for the XMR models. So step two is just basically getting the pipes on and get these clamps on uh, just kind of snugged up get the clamps on kind of snugged up uh, you have to put this they call it cooper paste comes in this little tube uh, you just have to put on the inside of the clamp not on the inside of the pipe but on the clamp same thing with that inside pipe in there so um, once you get those on just snug them up and the pipe should be looking just like this um, I'm gonna see if I can start putting the bar uh, right in this back part because then I have to start kind of wiggling it in and making sure that it's straight and start getting in a line with all these bolts that go on it and the only ones that hold the pipe are these bottom ones here so should be a simple process so uh, I'm going to get to it and I'll, I'll get back with you guys once I finish that step. So guys, to tune, I have decided to go with the DinoJet Power Vision 3. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do is connect it to the computer port here. Uh, enter your key and hit this green button and it should start coming on. Uh, these dyno jets already come with preset tunes. Uh, so look, all required files found. So let's see what this one is. This one, uh, description, stock exhaust, stock intake, altered target AFR, Lowered fan temps, raised rev limiter, raised speed limits, raised brake torque management for use with fuel 89 to 91 octane. So that's the first one. And if you go back on the second tune, so this one is HMF full exhaust, stock intake, R altered target. AFR, lowered fan temps, raised rev limit, raised speed limit, raised brake torque management, and for use again with 89 to 91 octane fuel. So the one that I'm going to do, it, it says HMF, but we actually called them, and you can tune it with this one if you have um, any other type of aftermarket exhaust. It's basically going to be the same tune. So, press to start ECU flash. Pair this device to the connected vehicle. Delete incompatible. With the selected tune file. I'm sorry for that noise. That's just my well pump coming in, in here on in the garage. So preparing. 
So it is very simple to use, very easy. So it, it'll delete the um, stock one. It'll actually save it for you just in case you want to retune it again with the stock um, um, settings. And up here, you'll have the check engine light, check DPS. That should be completely normal uh, while doing this. Once it's complete, it'll actually turn that off and it'll go all back to normal. So it's almost done now. So now it says check DPS. Flash complete to verify flash, turn key off, and then on again. So let me take it out.